this is the uh, small bay I'm going to be replacing today, as you can see. That's, that's hanging off, drip edge has come away. Um, seen its day basically, isn't it? A couple of broken tiles here as well, where it meets the uh, little bay. So I'm going to be stripping all of this off, reboarding it with OSB. I'm hoping the uh, existing board decking is uh, sound. And then I'm going to be uh, covering it with um, EPDM single piece rubber membrane. So first job is obviously strip it all out. is the original felt and then somebody uh, refelted it at some point in time but this original felt is actually stuck down onto the boards with bitumen which is um, at the best of the times the right bitch to get off um, so basically all I'm going to do on this is uh, overboard it with the OSB and um, and take it from there because I'm going to be here for uh, for a long time for not real much value trying to get that off um, you can overboard. I mean, I probably could have overboarded that, but you know, I'd kind of like to try and get it a bit cleaner, a uh, better job. Um, but uh, because that's all stuck down, I'm just going to leave it, overboard it, and take it from there. So I've cleaned off the uh, roof, swept it off, hammered down any uh, clamp nails that are sticking up that might impede the, uh, the OSB once we get that on. And then I've put um, a piece of uh, one by one and a half batten around the edge, which is going to, this is going to help create a decent drip edge on the, um, the rubber once we've got it on. So uh, next step, I've got the, uh, the OSB cut to size. Next step is to um, get it on. So I've got the first piece of OSB in place. Just uh, screwed down that corner just to keep this flush with the edge. Keep the flush up to this edge. And now all I'm going to do, just to get it cut to the right angle on this side, is um, just get my pencil and draw a line under there, take it off again, cut it, and uh, good to go. And then this is a full piece of um, 8 to 4 so I've just got a little piece in the the, uh, the edge here to fill in and then uh, this long length will go at the back there. So I have the first uh, piece of OSB down now. Um, I've got a 4 by 40 screws um, holding it down. I've got quite a lot all around the edges in the back there. Also obviously you want to make sure you've got your slope on the roof. Sloping towards the gutter, it already was because I checked that before. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've only used 9mm ASB on this because um, obviously, because I'm overboarding, the timber underneath is already sound. If you're going over joists, obviously, you're going to need 18mm OSB, but um, for overboarding, 9, 11, you know, is, uh, is adequate as long as the existing decking is, uh, is sound. Uh, you need the OSB, but if you're using EPDM, you need um, a clean surface for your adhesive and, um, and you want to use OSB, not plyboard, because your OSB, it's got the, um, you know, the rough surface and it's got stuff that's going to um, assist the, the adhesive to tack better to the rubber rather than a perfectly smooth flat surface. So um, I'll just finish boarding this out now. Okay, that's all the OSB down now. So the next thing we're going to do before we start gluing is um, we're going to be fixing one part of these, this two-part drip edge 
around the outside. If I just get this out, I'll show you. So this is the uh, the drip edge for the EPDM. It comes in um, well, one of the styles anyway. You get different types of drip edge. This is the one I'm going to be using today. You get two uh, sort of PVC trims. The uh, wide one goes on the outside. The thinner one is going to get tacked around the outside here. With um, I mean, when you buy it, the stockist, you normally get some pins. So these little ones, little stainless steel pins, are going to tack this all around the edge here. I'll just do that now and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I've got the first stage of the uh, drip edge on now, around the outside. So just mitre the uh, joins there, so it needs to be flush with the top of the OSB there, all the way around fixed onto the back that you've already done and then you, uh, you can see from here you, you know you're going to have a decent overhang into the gutter um, you know once you've got your rubber it's obviously going to come over here down and then the other piece of the drip head will go on the top of that over the um, over the rubber so this um, rubber I've laid out here on the uh, driveway it's been here for probably about an hour and it's still got creases in it I mean, in nice hot weather, these creases will probably come out. So what I'm gonna have to do is get it up there and then um, we'll get the heat gun on, heat gun on it to uh, get rid of um, some of these, uh, these creases so it lays flat once I glue it. So if the creases haven't come out of the rubber fully from just letting it relax, either in situ from where it's going you should uh, once you've got your boards down put your rubber down for you know half an hour or so in nice weather the creases should come out or mostly come out um, if not heat gun's your option so you just want to heat up where the creases are and, um, and it will relax and so you can get it through So I'm ready to start gluing now, basically. I've got the uh, the boards down, the rubber is uh, relaxed. And we're ready to start gluing. So we've got two uh, different types of adhesive. We've got the um, depth adhesive, and we've got the uh, contact adhesive, which can come in a spray like this, um, or you can get it in a tin as well to roll it on. I prefer the, I prefer the um, spray option. I mean, it is a bit more expensive, works out a bit more costly, but I think you save on time and, and um, it does a neat job, I think. So the uh, deck adhesive is going to go on the inside area around here. I'm going to roll it on shortly. And the contact adhesive is going to go all around the edges. And I'm also going to use it actually along this cut here. And that's just going to give it a, a stronger bond on the edge, uh, which will prevent um, possible wind uplift and strong winds and also stop the, um, the rubber from contracting. It's gonna hold it tighter around the edges and around here, so it's gonna, it's gonna keep it nice and tight um, for a long time. All right, I'll get glue in. So 
I've just sprayed the contact adhesive down on this first edge. I've given it several coats so we get like a really good uh, strong bond. I haven't done this area here. Oh, my gloves are covered in muck. I haven't done this area because once this is flat down, I want to be able to flat this edge this way. Um, and that's going to you know, make that a lot easier basically. Same the other end. Slightly sprayed the um, PVC drip edge piece as well. And enough this way, obviously, to cover here. And once that's down, then I'm going to trim this off. Um, even more and then once you've uh, once this is dried it doesn't take long to dry to be fair we're gonna flap it back down and then you're gonna use this tool to roll it um, to you know give it a good bond and squash it down so it sticks and then you've got your penny roller which you can use in you know in details perhaps like that you get a nice nice tight crisp um, join there Tiles back in place now. So uh, you don't want the tiles touching the rubber. You don't want any pressure on it because it could potentially damage it. That's why I've put a button up here. Um, that this is resting on, so it's hooked over a button and resting on the button to keep it away from the rubber. So there's no um, no weight and pressure bearing down on this over time, and that's just um, you know free. Okay, so the last thing basically now is to um, put the uh, drip edge on. Finish drip edge and miter it on the corners. That's the drip edge finished now. And um, basically all done. So that's gonna be, uh, this material has a uh, 50 year life expectancy per the manufacturers. So um, the way this has been fitted now, which is uh, per uh, manufacturer specification, that's going to be there 50 year at least, unless someone misses with it. But um, anyway, there we go. Jobs are good. Un'.